Hello students, how are you all? So today it's all about accent and reaction. So my accent is to teach you, provide more interesting videos for you. So that you'll be interested in studying. And your reaction is to watch the video over and over again, share it over and over again, and develop your interest to your studies. Learn to apply physics, not to study physics. So let's start our topic today and our topic today is Newton's third law it's based on action and reaction only so our topic today is Newton's third law so first I want you to look at this animation right now when I was a child right I wanted to be a space scientist so I was very fond of rockets right so have you ever wondered why the rocket goes up Right. Now you can see properly at the down of the rocket, the fuels, the gases are ejected at very high speed. So the action force is on the air in the backward direction. And so it experiences a reaction force in the upward direction due to which it travels forward. Let us take another common example. Let us take another common it let us see suppose i'm holding a ball i'm holding a ball right so what came to my head dropped into the ground when i dropped it into the ground the ground experienced an action force by the ball in the downward direction the ground experienced a downward force due to the ball and the ground offered a reaction force in the upward direction due to which the ball was able to bounce back upward. So the action force is experienced by the ground by the ball and the reaction force by ground on the ball. Now let us see, suppose I am driving a cycle. Suppose I am riding a cycle. So the action force is in the backward direction experienced by the ground by the tires. And the ground will offer a reaction force in the forward direction so that the cycle is able to move forward so we are moving forward in a cycle forward 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 is the reaction force but the action force is experienced by the ground and the tire exerts it in the backward direction now i'm driving all the way around the earth i'm driving all the way around the earth so let's understand what exactly is Newton's third law and what exactly is the step law is every action has got an equal and opposite reaction. Every action has got an equal and opposite reaction. Right. Now, let us consider another example to know what is equal and what is opposite. So let us consider a block placed on the table. Let us consider a book or a block placed on the table. Now, if you see the diagram carefully, this is a tabletop over which I have placed a rectangular block. Now, there are two forces acting on the block. One is in upward direction and other one is in downward direction. Right. Now, the downward direction that force is acting that is called as the weight of the book and the upward direction which force is acting that is called as normal reaction force. Now both these forces are opposite in direction. Normal reaction force is upward and weight of the book is downward. Yeah. Now let's imagine a person pushing a wall with a force of 100 newton in the forward direction. So because the reaction force is equal in magnitude, so the magnitude of reaction force will be 100 newton. And the direction will be in the backward direction. So we can easily understand from this example that action and reaction forces are equal in magnitude but they are opposite in direction. So thank you all for listening. Until next time, take care and bye bye.